everybody, it's Ellie Diecast, and we've got the diorama ready to go. We just need to pick some cars, so let me get the camera fixed up so you can see the box we're picking from. Be right back. Okay, the box of wonders. Let's pick some cars out of here. I'm going to dig as far down as I can without crushing anything. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we got a big one here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, oops, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Come on. I can't go too far or I'll smash something. <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, we'll go with this one. 25. Okay. We've got our 25 cars here. I don't see anything. Well, yeah, we'll go with it. Okay, we got our 25 cars. I'll get them ready for... The diorama. Okay, we are back and we're gonna go through these cars. I believe I've got 25 of them here and uh, I needed to swap one out. Had a, we actually had a broken one <laughs> mixed in there so I swapped it out. Uh, okay, so this is going down. So from my least favorite of the random group to now. So first, we're gonna go through these first ones pretty quickly. Got a backslider. You guys have seen this one. It's got that cool little backsliding routine going on there. That one from 2011. We've got ourselves the Ollie Rocket here. That one from 2018. One thing interesting about this Ollie Rocket is the wheels. I think that's the first time we've seen those. It's, they've got these little uh, orbits taken out of them. That's interesting. Anyway, Ollie Rocket and Backslider, we probably already spent more time on those than we should have put them up there. We've got ourselves a, what is this? This is a Bedlam. This one was from, I believe, the Chromes or Super Chromes uh, five pack, I think, or maybe it was the main lines. I don't remember. I guess I don't really care too much about that one. We'll park him up there. We've got a Skull Rider. Now this one has gone under a couple names. Here you go. That guy is from uh, 1999. That is a pretty old car to be in pretty good shape. Usually it's really scratched up here from flipping over. I believe this was also called like the Cyber Rider. It's got these kind of weird little driver guys in there. That one's gone under at least two names. Perk that guy up there. This one I almost cut out, but here it comes. <laughs> Another yellow submarine. That one, oh, who knows? That could be this, this year, 2018, 2017. They've released this a couple times. I don't believe there's any difference between the releases. Not really my favorite, but, well, there you go. I didn't take it out. Could have called foul on that one, but we didn't. Got a Morris Mini from 2018. That one is probably on the shelves now. Urban Outlaw on the top of that one. Not my favorite of the Morris Minis by any means. Got ourselves this cool white truck. I don't know anything about this one. It's a match, well I shouldn't say anything. It's a matchbox. It's got these kind of razor rimmed wheels on it that we see a lot with the older matchboxes. Uh, it's missing its door in the back. Anyways, you can see the uh, first round there. Not much competition if a uh, generic white truck with a broken door beat them all out. Okay, now we're kind of into the intermediate ones. Now, these ones I had to make a little, few choices on, on where they finish. We've got ourselves the hand Solo car. Again, these all came in lots. I usually don't buy these specialized cars, but that is the hand Solo car. I like this one. It's kind of got that Millennium Falcon cockpit going, blaster on the front. 
These cards are kind of fun to find all the references to the character in it. I think they were a little too expensive, so I didn't get very many of those. I think I got the first run, and that was all I bought. At least got purposely. Got ourselves a Volkswagen Beetle. This one tuned. I'm going to move the uh, camera down a little bit so we can see these. This one tuned. It's also got the metal back. I think this one is from 2012, if I remember right. It came in a blue with a metal uh, engine and a blue with a metal engine and a plastic exhaust pipe. So there was actually three variations, I think. And you know what? It actually, I want to say, also was a super treasure hunt, if I remember right. I think it was. I think I'm right. All right, let's do one more, and then I'll clean off the uh, parking lot there for the the next round. So here we go. We've got ourselves a Jada. This one, another one of these Jadas that I got in that really large lot. I was I got them for the wheels. Really like those Jada wheels, but was not happy with the treads and. They're hard to use. The scale isn't really right. You kind of have to use them on tuned customs if you want to do that. Uh, and you, you kind of have to rebuild the, uh, the axles to use those wheels. But they do have a lot of detail inside. You can see there. These were nice cars. Uh, I have quite a few of them. Okay, I'm going to clear these off really quick. All right, on to, these are kind of the in-between ones. Uh, what is this? I just rolled it out there and didn't look. This is a, uh, it's a Matchbox Mazda. It's a 2008 Mazda, I believe. And this one owned by somebody, clearly, at one time. <laughs> Got ourselves a little Mazda. A tuned Corvette, that one from 2018 as well. I think we've already seen this one in a couple color variations this year. Nothing too special about that one. Got a Pop Cycle. This one from 1999. So this one pretty old. And the Pop Cycle, when it came out, probably not the most popular item. But that bicycle, which is to scale with most of the Hot Wheels, is very, very popular with... The customizers, you take this little plastic piece off, snip that little bicycle out, paint it up, and you got yourself a, a pretty close to scale bicycle. And uh, boy, the pop cycles are an endangered species. People are ripping them up for their little, their little bicycles. I always thought that was a good car. I believe this is um, based off of a, a real car. Not that it was a working real car, but... I think it was a uh, George Barris car. I think I'm making that part up. I'm going off script. Shouldn't do that. I usually look stupid when I do that. Uh, next, we've got a Matchbox. This one, a Ford Shelby Cobra Concept. I really like that one. That one is Matchbox from, I don't remember. It's not that old, though, judging by those tires. Park that one up around the corner. Here is an interesting one, and this one's going to take a little bit of explaining. First, I'll just put it out there. That is a Hot Wheels. Now, it does not look like a Hot Wheels. Those wheels are weird ones for Hot Wheels, not even listed as Hot Wheels wheels. And look at the bottom. It's got a little computer in it. <laughs> Make it right side up so you can see it. That is weird. It does not work. But you can see it's got a little LED display, well, not LED, but a little display there. And that is a Cyber Racer. These show up every once in a while. They always throw me off. I never know what they are. They came out in 97, so pretty early for that kind of car. I'm sure that was building on this idea of computerized cars or something along those lines. I don't remember what this did. I, at one time I did. It, it didn't do anything too interesting. But that is a Cyber Racer. Interesting to find those when they show up. Next, we've got the Gas Monkey Corvette. 68 Corvette, to be precise. That from the show. 
Uh, no, now I just now I just forgot what the show was. Oh well. There's a gold one of these, and funny enough, I've never actually seen the gold one on the pegs. I don't think they're particularly hard to find. We just went to a show and they had a bunch of them for two dollars, but that one clearly didn't make it high enough my rankings for me to pay two dollars on. So uh, next up, beating out that one to just to prove the point is the 2018 Volkswagen Golf. So you can see I'm not too concerned about my gold gas monkey Corvette. This one, the MK2 model. And we've got ourselves a very cool Chevy Blazer. That one from Matchbox. And I believe this was a five pack um, police five pack, I think. Did not look this one up, but I think it was. All right, let's clear these guys off real quick. Okay, and I think we can make a, a run to the end here. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is our seventh number seven. That one is the Copo Camaro from 2015. It also came in blue. I really like the front of this Camaro. Of course, flames. I love the flames. <laughs> Here's a fun one. A Johnny Lightning. Does this? I didn't look up the name on this one. It is not on the bottom. And it's missing some parts. But a rubber tire Johnny Lightning. Now this one used to have a... Uh, a window on it. You can see the window's been kind of torn out. Uh, this one may go for tires. Not much use with it. It's a kind of a tea bucket roadster type model, but look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That one may lose its tires eventually too. Park him up here along the back. 65 Austin minivan, that one from Matchbox. And I believe this is supposed to be a charger. This is one of the Johnny Lightnings. Oh, it just left me what these are called. The, not a high raker, that's Hot Wheels versions. I forgot what they're called. Darn it. Well, there's the bottom. I'll uh, put there in the... Uh... Okay, sorry about that. My uh, my camera space filled up, so we had to switch to another card. Yeah, I don't remember what those were called. Darn it. There are a bunch of those in these lots, and I don't remember what they're called. Here, we'll park him over here. All right. Last three, we've got a Toyota 2000T. This one in just yellow. That one, kind of an interesting one. It came out in, oh, you know what? I 2018, but I don't know when it came out. Mine, uh, Mine's all scratched up on the top. <laughs> That's the way it came. So, <laughs> I, I don't like this particular paint job on this one. It's... Boy, that paint job, that is a messed up paint job. <laughs> I don't know what was supposed to be going on there. I just noticed that. All right, last two. We've got a 55 Chevy. Look at that one. That is pretty cool. It actually is a serial car from 1990. That goes back a long ways. Mine is not in mint shape, obviously. It's been played with. But it's got the gold rimmed black walls on it. That is a pretty, pretty nice car. There's the base. I don't know what cereal that came in. 55 Chevy Fever on that. Don't know what cereal it came in. But I know it came in a cereal box. And last, I guess first, we should say, here is a Jeep Scrambler. That one with rubber tires. Now this one is in nowhere near mint condition. It's got a scratched up top. I don't even know if it's actually supposed to have a black top. I didn't look at any pictures on this one. It's got some colored 
paint on it. It did take some cleaning up. You'll see that there was a big number two on the on the front there that was in Sharpie. I took that off. But we cleaned it up a little bit. This one's the first edition Scrambler Real Rider series. That one from the Real Rider series. Look at those tires on it. Those tires would be great on customs, but I think this guy's probably going to keep his tires. And uh, this one's got some yellow on it. See the yellow stripe there? I think if this one comes with just the orange stripe on it, it actually is worth a little bit more. That one from 1983. So that is, what, 7, 17, 30-something years ago that car came out. And some kid probably thought it would be a good idea to paint the undercarriage blue and... Put a big two on the front. <laughs> he probably never knew. It would be our number one pick here in our video. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.